do you have a problem with alcohol? <laughs> Is that why you're here? Anyways, I was thinking and I listened to something and it was <laughs> when you're an alcoholic until you admit it and face it and accept the fact that you're an alcoholic, you're not gonna change. You can live in denial all you want and think that some miracle is just gonna happen and one day you're just gonna quit drinking, but that's not the case. How many full-blown alcoholics the ones that have the withdrawals, the ones that shake because they're not drinking, how many of them just wake up one day and have no symptoms and just never drink again? No. They accepted the fact that they were an alcoholic. They got the help that they needed and they did the work. It's not easy. Nobody said it's gonna be easy. Speaking of, I'm starting 75 hard as of today. So going back to the very beginning of my alcohol journey and me being a drinker, I just have learned so much about myself through this whole entire journey, I've learned that, I mean, I've known that alcoholics damage a lot. They damage themselves, they damage their family. But I guess I didn't realize just how much damage is actually being done, done by it. I mean, it's a hard truth and it's a hard pill to swallow when you would rather choose alcohol over your own family and well-being, you have a problem. And it's quite sad. So many people just want to adapt to being alcoholics and they don't want to change. It's the hard truth. Just like overeaters and just like hoarders. I mean, everybody that has an addiction to something has to face the issue head on and come to the realization and wake up one morning and be like, yeah, I am an alcoholic. I don't want to be like this anymore. I want to change my life. I don't want to ruin any more relationships. I mean, we have our little kids. They watch us. Um, there was a comment, somebody mentioned that we are shaped by the environment that we are raised in. And it's so true. Yes, we can choose a different way of life for ourselves when we get older, but when we are, when we grow up in an environment, we don't know any different. So choosing not to drink now, as my children are watching me, like they mimic everything that I do and I'm just glad that I've stopped that cycle now. The generational cycles of drinking stops with me. You have to be the one to do something about it. Nobody's going to do it for you. And the question is, are you that one in your family that's going to change? You're going to break the cycle. You're going to rip the chains away. I mean, think about it. Our children grow up watching us. We grew up watching our parents. But what if your parent still drinks? What if you chose a completely different lifestyle than, you know, your grandparents or your parents or your aunts and uncles? And what if those relationships have been damaged because of alcohol and you are so sad by it and you don't want you want to break that generation with your kids. 
that's okay. You don't have to keep following in your family's footsteps for the rest of your life. You can do your own thing. If your family caused you to drink and have breakdowns and you're like, well, my dad did it, so that's why I do it. Well, maybe you don't drink because your dad did drink. I mean, it goes both ways. You don't have to always be your environment. You don't have to keep living in the past. You can, it really, if through all of this, I realized that talking to a therapist, talking to friends, having a community is so key in healing and letting go of the past. It doesn't start with just stopping drinking. It starts with you and what you want to do to heal yourself. It's putting that pride away, sucking it up, doing the uncomfortable, calling around, looking for a therapist, journaling, reading a book. The abuse is not going to magically disappear. It's not going to end. You have to put in the hard work yourself. And I look back and I think to myself, like, I could not have gotten this far if I didn't have a community to lean into, people to talk to, if I wasn't genuine with myself or my story. You have to be authentic in life to heal, to move on, to grow. But when you're an alcoholic, that comes in all shapes and forms. I mean, people will think you're an alcoholic because you have one beverage a day. And it could just be one ounce, but you have it every single day, so you're an alcoholic. You could have, but then you could be an alcoholic because you have a terrible time when you're drunk. You're an angry drunk and you overdo it when you do drink, but you don't drink any of the other times. But, or you're an alcoholic that has to drink every single day. You have the shakes if you don't. You withdraw from alcohol if you're not drinking it and you cannot function without it. So how many, leave in the comments what type of alcoholic you think you are because I would love to hear everybody's um, thoughts on this because I get it a lot. I read the comments. I see just because you didn't have withdrawals doesn't mean you were an alcoholic or some people say it, you weren't an alcoholic. You have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, well, yes, I know alcoholics. I know people that have died from alcohol. I know people that try to withdraw from alcohol. I know people that choose alcohol over everybody in their life. But the type of, I would call myself an alcohol abuser. I abused alcohol, alcohol use disorder. I know that a lot of you might disagree with me. Um, I'm not saying that one is better than the other, but I literally abused alcohol so much. I didn't have to drink. I could go weeks without drinking. I could go months without drinking, but when I did drink, I couldn't stop. That was my problem. In my mind, an alcoholic is somebody that functions daily or can't function without alcohol, but literally their life is consumed with it and <clears throat> it wrecks so many relationships. It damages so much. You can't let go of it. You can't quit. You've tried and tried and tried and you just keep going back and it's sad because I couldn't imagine what the withdrawals were like. Being hungover was terrible enough. I, I don't want to say I have compassion for those that withdraw, but yes, I feel bad for those that try to quit once and stay quit. Like you stay sober. 
How many of you have stopped drinking, put yourself through the misery, put yourself through the withdrawals, and then decided, well, it's not vodka that I'm drinking. I'm just going to drink wine instead. How many times has that bottle of wine taken you right back to the poison of your choice? Too many times. How many of you think that you have to use alcohol to celebrate every single occasion? I mean, I know that this gets brought up a lot and unfortunately that was my life too, is every chance that I got to drink, I was taking it. And nowadays, you wanna know what I do to celebrate? <laughs> I'll take myself, or not just myself, we will go to ice cream. We will go to dinner. I'll buy a different type of sparkling water. I will, I mean, do something, go on a day trip or something to celebrate something exciting, buy myself a new outfit. I mean, there's so many things that you can do to celebrate life without using alcohol. There's so many things that you can do for yourself to quit drinking. Step one, accept the fact that you're an alcoholic. Step two, get the help that you need. And step three, do the freaking work. And step four, never go back. Don't touch a drop of alcohol. It keeps taking you back to the same place. So many of you get so down on yourselves for saying, oh man, I messed up, I had a drink. And then it took, then it, then you say that it took you back to weeks of drinking again, and now you're back to day one. But why? My question to you is, why do you keep doing this to yourself? Do you think that it's just going to magically end one day, and you're going to just wake up cured from alcohol? You can pray, but. <laughs> You're, you have to do the work. Life is not easy. Life sucks. There's so many ups and downs. But accepting the fact that you abuse alcohol or an alcoholic is where it all starts. It starts with you. You are your story. You are the only one that can do this for yourself. And... Maybe I sound like a broken record sometimes, but you have, just have to challenge yourself. You have to give yourself more, more time. You have to accept that you have a problem, whether that be alcohol, hoarding, overeating. It all starts with you. Figure out what steps you need to take and what you need to do to be successful and just don't give up. That's all I can say is just try your hardest and be you. The alcohol, stopping drinking doesn't have to change who you are. It can make you a better person. It can make you more involved with your family. It can help you in your career. It can help you lose that 10 pounds or more that you've been wanting to lose. And it all starts with you. And honestly, getting out and going for walks instead of just sitting around thinking about alcohol, definitely a huge tool to use. I really appreciate you guys for being here supporting me and coming along on my walks with me as I just rant and if it wasn't for you guys you are one of the biggest reasons that I am here and I've stayed sober and I can say that over and over and over so I appreciate you truly and everybody that has been here from 
pretty much my fitness videos <laughs> in day one. So please like and share and subscribe. We have to keep bringing the awareness of alcohol. I know that it's becoming a trend, and it, but it all starts within. It all starts with you, and you can do it. I believe in you. You just have to want it. You have to accept that you have a problem and do the work.